Welcome. My name is Renee Marie Smith with 5TV, a trending 50 web series about 50 entrepreneurial women in America. Today we are in Washington, D.C. with Frida Johansson, the executive chef for the Swedish Embassy. Welcome, Frida. Thank you. What an exciting job to be working in an embassy. Can you share with us what uh, your most favorite daily activity is? Oh, so there is, I don't know if I really have a favorite uh, activity of the day. My days are always different, and I think that's why I love the job. No days are like the other one. What a fantastic position to be executive chef in an embassy here in Washington, D.C. How did you end up with this position? You know, it's a funny story. I never uh, actually tell people that I have the dream job that I never dreamt of because um, I never applied for the job. I used to say that I was at the right place at the right time and I was recommended for the job. Wonderful. And how long have you been here in Washington, D.C. at this position? I've been here for almost eight years now, starting off with, you know, it's supposed to be a year and eight years later I'm still here. Now share with us, how many people are in the kitchen with you? So uh, it's me and myself and I. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so now how many events do you do and how large are they? So I do parties all from two up to 500. 500 by yourself? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but most of the preparation and the shopping and the menu planning and all that I do. And I have people come in and helping out during the day or the event because it takes too much time to put out the food by yourself. Now you've been the executive chef for eight years. How do you keep your menu fresh and interesting? Well, you know, I'm out eating. I go home once in a while, so I try to see what's going on in Sweden and incorporate that, of course, um, and always trying new cuisines and putting that together with the Nordic cuisine. So it's all about being out and about, reading and, you know, watching. I watch socials, but just mostly just looking at different things and what sort of what's popular at the moment and sort of incorporate. Now, is your menu Swedish fare or how would you describe what you prepare at the embassy? So we, I call my new Nordic cuisine basically. So it, it covers most like the whole region of the Nordic countries, but I incorporate um, Swedish cuisine obviously, but it's fusioned a lot of times with some other, other countries cuisine. So it's a combination really, but of course I'm there to represent Sweden. So it's always, it's always something Swedish in there. When you're Preparing a meal for 500 people, walk us through how you go about doing that in a kitchen that's basically you. So um, depending on, usually the big parties, the 500 people parties are openings. So that is incorporated with the theme, what's going on at the time. So one year we had transportation. So we, we took one of those sushi kamoi belts and made a train. Um, that sort of delivered the food around so people could go pick their food from the train. So it, it goes together with the, uh, with the actual theme and that's what we work around with the food too and sustainability and health, you know. Um, Sweden is very green so everything that comes together with that. What would you say being an executive chef at an embassy is unique versus being an executive chef at a restaurant or a different type of uh, chef position? For me, I think the biggest challenge is that I'm actually representing a whole country. So, you know, I'm, I'm not only representing myself, I'm also representing the country. So, try to always um, show people what we're about because people have this perspective of like Swedish being Swedish meatballs and that's the only thing we have. So, it's kind of like a challenge for me to show people that we are so much more than just that. Now, is it difficult being far away from home and living here in Washington, D.C.? Um, you know, I love my family and we have always been very, very close. They are my biggest supporters, so I think that's why it's not really that hard to be away. I also lived abroad before I got to the U.S. and it's become a part of me to live away. And the family, they wish every day that I moved back home, but it's, I, I, the happiest part for me is to be away and do something that I really enjoy and that's been here. Frida, it's quite a compliment to have worked for three different ambassadors and that they all enjoy your presentation of Sweden through food. Can you share with us, do you cook for the families or do you only cook for the state events? No, so as, as a personal or a private chef, that's my title. People a lot of times think that I cook for the family, but I do all and anything that's representational. So everything that's, you know, cocktails, breakfast, lunches, dinner. And we do about six to 7,000 people a year that we cook for, so. That's quite impressive. 
Wonderful. And is the kitchen located in the embassy itself, or do you have to bring the food? You cook it off site and then bring it to the yes, embassy. Yes, so I cook off site. The, the, uh, I work at the ambassador's residence, so that's where I cook all the food, and then we will bring it in for the parties at the embassy. Well, you're quite an accomplished woman. You know, being an executive chef at an embassy is quite a compliment. How do you define success for yourself? That's that's a hard it's a hard one for me. I think that when I the day I will accomplish and say that I'm really successful is the day when I have my own business. But for now, I think success really is that I am representing the country and I've I've come to a position that I thought I would never have and I never really dreamed of. And so much of what you do, you are like an entrepreneur because the kitchen is is your domain. You make all the decisions. Is there any parameters that you're given from the embassy? Not really. Of course, I work with a budget. You know, there's always a spending budget, how we, what we work around. But that's, I think also that's why I really, really love the job because each ambassador that I worked with has been very open-minded and they let me really use my ideas and my creations. So I think there is no limitations when it comes to, to putting myself and the food out there and show what we really are about. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. This is Renee Marie Smith. Thank you for watching 5TV, a trending 50 web series. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and share.